Declan Kenner. That's my first and last <laughs> name, which is double barrel. My latest single was The Kids Don't Want to Come Home. I wrote it about being one of those frustrated millennials. Centennials? I think I'm a centennial. I think that's what I count as. I don't really care. But yeah, it was just kind of about this sort of being caught up in a sort of generation, I guess, that has a lot of negative connotations alongside it, but kind of wanting to be part of a movement, a development of change, and I guess being frustrated about sort of perceptions of yourself and perceptions of your friends and the people around you. It's got a lot of different things that kind of went into it, but... Yes, lots of it. I've made an album, and I haven't announced yet when I'm putting it out, but I have lots of songs <laughs> that, that deserve to come out sometime soon, so yeah. Someone saw it the door. Musically, uh, at the minute, ABBA, just so many good songs. People kind of often write it off as just like pop music, but it's some of the most well written songs ever. Personally, am I allowed to say like family? Or yeah, of like, course. Like, yeah, like probably. <laughs> I think um, there's sort of no one else who can really impact your life and you know, personal where you are than more than your friends. So, yeah, it's kind of a cliche, but <laughs> um, politically, with politics, there's like people who you can agree with on one thing and disagree with on a lot of other things, and it's just like, it's quite confusing. A lot of musicians that have inspired me politically, I think, you know, people like Nina Simone, you know, there's people like Billy Bragg who are really cool. It's influenced me a lot because obviously growing up I was very into music and I guess that kind of got me into it was seeing like musicians that I enjoyed who were like expressing these sorts of views and opinions and I think that's kind of what inspired me to kind of, I don't know, be a little bit overtly political. I feel like I went to one recently. De La Soul, that was it. It was amazing. Yeah, it was like one of the best shows I've ever been to. And they brought out like Damon Albarn and did Feel Good. And, and they brought out Estelle, who was like incredible. Oh. I, I was thinking recently about the first gig I ever like paid to see. Was, yeah. um, the Leisure Society, I must have been like 13, 14. Okay. I tweeted about them the other day and then they followed me on Twitter. Oh. So that's a nice, that's a nice thing. Mine was Lady Gaga. With my mom. That is fair, <laughs> right? <laughs> We've all been there. Yeah. When they don't throw things at you. <laughs> I had this thing in France where a bunch of fans started throwing avocados at me when I was on stage. I, I don't even know <laughs> where to begin with that one. One time we were playing in Denmark on the tour with Blossoms, and yeah. the girl was standing at the front with a rose and she gave me a rose. Oh. If anyone wants to do that, <laughs> like that, that, that was just like, oh, That's my heart. Adorable. That is adorable. <laughs> There's like a, a lot of things that kind of need to be done more frequently. I think like venues kind of need to be a little bit more obvious about being like, yo, everyone here is here to have a yeah, good time. Yeah, definitely. Don't be like, the main thing is kind of just getting, I guess, a, a really like frequent message across to people about mm -hmm. you know being fair and, and kind to each other when everyone's supposed to be having a good time and not invading people's personal space because yeah. I think that is a massive problem. It's a very frustrating thing and it, it's like you just don't want it to happen to anyone, anyone and at one of your shows. Yeah. There's a lot of assholes out there. There are. <laughs> it's a good question though obviously like initially it's like, oh, that's never happened to me. So you just don't think, but you like, you wouldn't think someone would, would do that at, at a gig. Like, you think that's like a kind of safe place for like your yeah. friends and yourself, and then kind of get immersed in that. I'd heard about it because, like, like friends had, I think, experienced things like that, like, you know, mm. for quite a while. But I think it, it kind of got highlighted a lot more definitely. Than these guys came <laughs> Very frustrating as well, like we've had certain experiences with like the girls in my band experiencing a lot of like creepy yeah. people at our shows and it's like since since we've sort of been playing together like a lot more frequently like I've noticed that sort of stuff. 
doing all around the UK and May and a bit of Europe in June as well and all these sorts of stuff. And You're doing festivals. everything, aren't you? I'm doing a lot of things. because it was the end of the First World War. I'm going to say 28 because it works right in my head. You'll probably get this one. Which popular frog meme has been taken over as an all right this <laughs> spot? Pepe. That's really perfect. I've got a Pepe sticker on one of my guitars and I burn it off. This it's one. a rare Pepe as well, it was rare. <laughs> That's why I'm glad Harambe could never get taken <laughs> over because it's like far too morbid to be used by any organisation. Unless Girls Against starts being like um. <laughs> Harambe or something. Maybe, that's an option. <laughs> I didn't identify which of these was not an option for the name of our campaign before we decided on Girls Against. I'm going to say A because no one says fellas ever. <laughs> what up, fellas? Out of five, you got three. You got three. three. Fortunately, I have to tell you that the name Girls Against Broken, Fellas Against Holding was actually... Was actually... Yeah, I, know, that's <laughs> I feel so bad now. Nine. Nine because you answered three out of five in the first uh, place. Beat that. Sundara Karma. <laughs> Challenge your fans. I just, <laughs> I just thought of the first, I don't know, that, that came to my head. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean any, I didn't, I didn't mean to be. Have you got any last words? I'm now officially like one tenth Scottish. Yeah. Shout out to my ex. You're really quite well. <laughs> I am Declan McKenna and I support Girls Against. 